Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called TQC Bethpage Black LiDAR designed by Bacon Junkie one Now we'll have a quick look at the default settings for this course. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there, we've got firm fairways, soft greens. The green speed is medium fast. The weather is light cloud and the time of day is morning. So based on that, what I've done is I've gone for the blue tee at 7,489 yards. Pin position one. The wind speed I've set to medium, but everything else I've left on the default. So without further ado, we'll head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Okay, so the opening hole par four, just under 400 yards, slightly downhill and the wind is helping. So I'm going to try and cut the corner a little bit. Now I haven't played this game for a a short while now so this will be interesting oh that could run out of fairway will it stop in the first cut just okay so we've got 81 yards to go got the pin tucked back left nasty slope there if we catch that slope the ball's going to kick right but on, we don't want to short side ourselves and miss left either because that will leave a really difficult bunker shot or chip shot but I'm going to be aggressive I'm going to go for it 92 to 94% let's give it a little bit of backspin Oh, that's a great shot. Get in the hole. That's a super shot. Got a kick in birdie. Now par four, second hole. 374 yards, but it, this one's uphill. Big slopes here on this fairway. It's a narrow fairway as well. Although we've got a wide area, I think from about there to about there, I think we've got first cut. But the actual fairway itself is looking pretty narrow. I've pulled that one a fraction. Go! Go! That's going to be in the first cut. I just pulled it just a tad. 91 yards to go uphill. Mm. 25 feet uphill. So that's approximately 8 yards. That's 99. I'm going to go with a sand wedge, I think. Oh, I've hit that slow. Oh, it's gone long as well. Oh, dear. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, four inches downhill. I think the greens are medium fast, so we'll try that. It's a little bit of a double break of this. Hmm, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna I'm gonna aim it straight and hope that it's not too far off. Oh, I don't think I've hit that hard enough. No, I, 
I hit the ball before I felt the vibration. It's a solid par though. I got a long par three here at the third. It's 246 yards. There's a little bit of hurt from that from that easterly wind. I'm gonna go with a three arm, but I'm gonna have to hit this one really well. It's gotta go, I think. Yeah, go, go. Ah, uh, not quite. Uh, hopefully, it should be a fairly straightforward chip and putt for par. Oh, it's a terrible lie though. Sixty-six to seventy-six percent. This is going to have some top spin on it. It usually does coming out of a lie like this. Left it short. That's a great par three, that one. Tough one, but a great one. Now, this course has been created using LiDAR data, which I'm sure you all probably know by now is effectively geographic data, which means that the course creator can can make it pretty accurate. Now then, par five, 507 uphill, but the uphill will be, <clears throat> excuse me, will be the second shot. Oh, that's a bit slow. Could do with a bounce left, I think that's in the rough. I had a very kind bounce. 178 to go. Not an overly big green this one. It's uphill as well. Let's go with the six iron, I think. It's a nice swing. If I got the club right, get down. Get down. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Outside chance of an eagle, but hopefully a definite birdie. Bit of right to left on this one. Tracking well. Oh, what a putt. What an eagle. Well, that's the only par five on the front nine. And long par four here at the fifth. Narrow fairway as well. It's a good drive, right down the middle. Split the fairway in two. 135 to go, but uphill. Wind helping a little off the left, not much. Let's go with the pitching wedge. <clears throat> Get down, get down, it's a good line. Get down, bite, bite. That's a good shot. Good birdie. 
Now I'm not familiar with the real life version of this course, which I'm kind of embarrassed to say because I probably should be um, being a real life golfer, but I'm not. So I do apologize for that. Uh, what I can say though is what I've played so far is really enjoyable. Come round a bit more. Oh, that could be in the rough, depending on the bounce. Yep. Ah, there's no first cut there either. It's gone straight into the thick stuff. 77 to 87%. This is going to be really difficult because I'm not going to get any backspin out of that lie, I don't think. I'll try. That's a great shot. That did stop really quick as well after that first bounce. Really good opportunity here for a birdie. I'd like to see this one go down. Yeah, really pleased with that birdie coming out of that heavy rough down the right hand side of that fairway. Now on to the seventh. I've got a sharp dog leg here. It's 483 yards on the card, but because of that severe dog leg, it will be playing a lot longer than that. Have a quick look. I don't think there's any kind of shortcut. So we're going to have to play it the conventional way down the fairway. Wind off the left. Looks okay. Yeah, it's a good drive. Still got over 200 yards to go though. It's a long par four. Ten mile an hour wind. I might take a big gamble here with the wind behind, although the greens were soft if I remember rightly. There is a bit of a backstop, there's a slope there. I'm not sure whether a five iron might be enough, especially if I give it 102%. Let's try that. Oh, I pulled it. Ah, oh, this is real shame. Distance-wise is quite good, but I pulled it. Thirty-one feet. Quite a bit of left to right break on this one. Oh, I've hit that too hard. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, I had the line as well. I just hit it too hard. That's a shame. Bit of work left on this one. Oh, just. Great par four, that one. Real challenge. Now we've got a par 3 on the 8th. A couple hundred yards downhill. Take 10 off that, it's 192. The wind as well. I might take a gamble here with a 6 iron. Yeah, the club is fine bit long safely on the green though that's the important thing a couple inches downhill this one
Hit the hole. No. Okay, so we're going to finish the front nine with a par four back into that breeze. 435 yards. Dog leg left. Oh, I pulled that one a bit. I think it'll be okay though. 172 to go. Slightly uphill, that's an extra three yards. 175. Let's take a chance on a seven iron here. Oh, I pulled it. Uh, no, that's terrible. That is a terrible shot. Oh, nearly hold it. Cool, look how far that's run. Wow. Clutch putt for par. Oh, that's a great up and down. It's a par, but it was a real struggle. It's a great front nine, really enjoying this course. Long par four, this one, 500 yards. Oh, that's fast, that's in trouble. Oh, might get lucky. Kick right. Oh, that's okay, it's on the fairway. 176 to go. Bit of a slope there behind the hole, could come in handy. Well, this could be good. This could be good. Oh, that landed really soft on these soft greens. That's a great birdie. Deserved it, to be fair, after that second shot. Another par four here. Fairway's quite narrow again. Wind off the right. 429 yards. Nice swing, that should be absolutely fine. Yep, got a kind bounce as well. Just 87 yards to go. That slope behind the hole could come in handy as well. Give it some backspin though. Oh dear, that's a terrible swing. Oh my goodness me, that's shocking. Okay, forget that now, put it behind you. Oh no, this is a foot downhill as well. I'm not going to do the maths, I'm just going to take a guess and hope I'm not too far away. Big, big slope on this. Oh, what a terrible second shot into the green. Slow down, slow down. That's a really good putt. I'm happy with that. I 
shouldn't have been there, mind you, but at least it was a good putt to save par, or to, to make sure I didn't walk away with any more than a par. Okay, on to the 12th. 478 yards back into the breeze. This is going to be quite long. Dog leg left. It's a good swing. Two hundred and twenty two yards to go. It's a long way into the breeze. I'm going to take a bit of a gamble here. I'm going to go with the three iron. My long irons usually aren't very good, but let's try this. I pulled it a fraction. Needs to get down as well. Kick right. Oh, they got a very, very kind bounce. Now this one's downhill. No, I've misread it. Okay. Just a par. Now here we've got a par five. Thirteenth hole. T areas right next to the toilets, just in case you need to go for a quick one. <laughs> now this is 600 yards. This is long. A little bit of hurt from that wind as well. Pulled it a fraction. Hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, that's okay. 288 yards to go, but I'm not going to get up into. I could potentially go with the three iron here. I think I will. I'm going to hit the three iron. Hopefully that will leave me a nice distance for a pitch. Roughly 67 yards would be ideal, but I think it's gone a bit further than that. 52, yeah, okay. That's all right, though. Don't mind that. Stay there, stay. What a lovely morning. Great birdie on that long, long par five. Now, as you can see there from the scorecard, there are no more par fives on this course. So there's only two in total, one on the front nine, one on the back. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just, just saying. Now then, 162, I'll go with the eight iron. Big bounce. It's not going to get it though. Turn, turn. Oh, it just took enough break to catch the left lip. Just four holes remaining now. Now this is a narrow fairway. It's looking good. Yeah, 
that's a great drive. 138 plus approximately 11. It's 149. Now the pin position you can see there, it's in kind of a, like a bowl. If you look, you've got slopes around it. I need to make sure I get the right club. Do I club up? That's a bit too much, so I'm going to have to increase the loft on this 9-iron quite a bit. Let's go with... Uh, let's try that. Oh, go. Oh, no. I made a mess of that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I made a complete mess of that. Oh, that's a real shame. I put far too much loft on that 9-iron. Nine -nine. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Horrible lie. I don't know if that will come back at all, will it? Only a little bit. Ah. Ah, no, I'm really annoyed at myself now. This I've got a difficult, very difficult putt for, for par. Such an idiot. Four inches downhill. This is very quick. This is horrible. Oh, what a putt. What a putt to save par. Well, it goes down on the card as a par, but it was really, really scrappy. Uh, the 16th hole, 489 yards, downhill, but another narrow fairway. Good drive. I'm not a big fan of long pitches. Ah, oh, that's a terrible swing. Oh no, I've lost my rhythm now. Oh, that's tough as well. This needs lots of backspin. But coming out of a lie like that, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get any. Oh, this is horrible. Okay. Oh, what a shame. Oh, it's gone too far. That's another good putt to save par, but I'm really scrambling on this back nine. It'd be nice if I could get one more birdie over the last two holes. Probably won't be here though, this is a long par three. Big slope there in the green. Yeah, I haven't got the right club for this. My three iron is going to go too far. My five iron not far enough. Slightly uphill, it's going to be playing about 214 yards. The only thing I can do here is maximise the loft on my 3-iron. But this is going to make the shot so much harder. Yeah, crap swing again. Wow. Now, I cannot 
cannot afford to go past the hole here because if I do, it's just you know, going to keep running. This is such a difficult shot. Slow down. Well, I've played that really well. Really, really well. Now then, the final hole. Par four. It's not overly long. But it's a narrow fairway you've got clusters of bunkers either side and if you look up ahead towards the green you've got bunkers right and left as well the pin is at the front very small target this is going to be a tough finishing hole oh no even tougher now ah, I should have done my practice swing rush that one a bit Okay, I'm in trouble. Ball above my feet as well here. Oh no, no! Ah! A yard to the right, I would have got away with that. What a shame. Ah, oh, this is an impossible shot now. Absolutely impossible. The only consolation is I'm chipping back into the wind, but... Oh, what a shame. I had quite a good round going until now. Oh, get in! Oh! <laughs> that would have been lovely if that had gone in. And now I've got this to salvage a par. Well, that is a brilliant up and down on the final hole to save par. That's a really nice course. Like I say, I'm not familiar with the real life version of it, so I can't compare it. But uh, a course in its own right, um, really good. Lovely layout, some challenging holes. I would imagine as well in high wind speeds, that could be a real challenge. Well, that was uh, TQC Bethpage Black LiDAR, designed by Bacon Junkie One. So congratulations to him. That's another great course he's done. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Well, take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.